and welcome to Mary's Make Shop. This is the third video of making a walnut mitten and I wanted to talk about the masonite that I put on the back of my walnut slab and I did that so I could cut through the walnut into the masonite and really just release the mitten entirely when I was finished. Um, the masonite's just called sacrifice material. So we're going to get right to cutting it. Um, it was pretty messy with all the wood chips everywhere even though I do have a vacuum running. I was thinking of making a skirt. I might revisit that idea. Um, what else? Oh also I was using the same power cord for both my router and my vacuum and every time I turned the vacuum on I could hear the router um, actually like the machining sound getting lower so I'm in a little bit of power draw issues um, so I'm gonna make sure to keep them on separate outlets in the future. So I just sped this up so you don't have to watch 15 minutes of my router cutting a mitten, um, but it really didn't take that much time at all. Uh, no complaints there. And then right now I'm just gonna take off the clamps and see if this mitten just pops out of the masonite like I made, made in my design on Autodesk Fusion 360, which is in part one if you're interested in checking it out. The double side stick tape actually was a lot tougher than I anticipated. <laughs> So after a little bit of struggle, it just popped out. There you go. That's a nice cutout. Um, and yeah, you can see it actually cut out on the masonite, but pretty happy. Took me a little bit to get that masonite off, um, but that has a really nice grain in it. I was really excited um, for my first cut, which I, I still have to finish, but that will have to wait to an another video. I'll be releasing a video about setting part zeros in the next few days, so definitely check it out, as well as using a tool touch off with a macro that somebody uploaded in the Centroid Acorn forum. So as always, um, thanks for watching and any comments or questions, please leave in the comments below. Thanks and catch you on the next one.